Hello and welcome to, I don't know why that sounded so southern, a new vlog. <laughs> I am opening this up on the 22nd of August and I think it'll go until the end of September. September? <laughs> August? I am, my brain is fried today pretty much, but yes, so let's go over what I will hopefully be reading until the end of this month. The first thing that I hope to complete is the Gospel of Loki. Which I started reading for the, not even the nostalgia song, I don't remember what I was reading this for. But I got like halfway through and I didn't continue. I don't know, I guess I'm just really not in the mood for Norse myth. I mean, I love it and I know I love it. The writing is a bit odd, but it's not that I wasn't enjoying it, it's just that I wasn't enjoying it that much. But I will definitely finish it. Finally, after like a year and a half of having this book. And then the next two that I will be reading is this one. The Queen of the Tearling, which I already started. I'm like 40 pages in. I don't even really have thoughts yet. But I know that it's older, like old school YA, so I might be in the mood. I was just in the mood for something light because I needed a fantasy that wouldn't take all of my brain power to understand. So I hope this will be a good option for that. I heard it's a little bit political, but I like royalty from time to time. Not really, but I enjoy it. So if this is any good. And I saw a blurb from Emma Watson. So <laughs> if this is any good, it will hopefully occupy me. But I mean, after I read The City of Brass, I don't think anything can be as painful. And we've got Kenobi, which hopefully I actually do read until the end of August because I don't think I've read a Star Wars book in like two months and I already miss <laughs> I already miss it this goes chronologically before Lords of the Sith so I will read that one first and I'm really excited for it it's like 460 pages so I know there will be filler but that is fine because I love Obi-Wan Kenobi and I really want to know what happens to him after Revenge of the Sith that's probably the most interesting thing <laughs> that has never been known so yeah even though it's been labeled legends now I don't even care <laughs> I just want to read it I want to know what happens to him I love him and if there's gonna be any flashbacks to Anakin I will likely cry so I'm very very excited about this one and those are the plans pretty much for reading I am going to write more because I've been writing like 10 pages a night for the last week and I've been doing really good like not every night but when I've been writing I've been writing a lot so I really really hope that I will continue to do that and then we will go into September which is the last month that I'm on holiday and I also started driving school so that's terrific as if I needed something to occupy my time <laughs> but that is fine and yes I will update you about Queen of the Tearling because that is what I'm reading right now Yeah, I said young adult fantasy. This is definitely a dystopian. <laughs> I mean, New Europe, New London, and stuff like that. It's obviously a dystopian, but I don't know. It's interesting, to say the least. We'll see. I don't hate it yet. Don't love it. We'll see. The writing is interesting, but I'm not sure what the main plot will be. So, the main character pretty much seems doomed, so I can't wait to see how she gets out of this. Hello, long time no here. For me at least. You just probably watched a video that I am just uploading, but I just took like two days off. I just couldn't read, maybe even three, and I was binging Vampire Diaries because I wanted to get to the originals, <laughs> which I watched only once and I remember nothing from the entire series. So I binged that yesterday, I finished like season one, and if you've watched it, and it was, you know it has a lot of episodes, and they're all over 40 minutes. So, I was in a binging mood, I just, I didn't sleep much, and I just watched the series. But, now that I'm in a reading mood again, and I finally had a productive day, I am going to be continuing this. I read like 60 pages, took a pause, and then I don't know what happened. 
didn't grip me yet, definitely. I don't even know what the main plot will be. I don't know the main character, and I'm not that interested. But let's hope that after 100 pages, I'll be a little bit more invested <laughs> in anything that's going on here. I do like the Mort name and the Red Queen name and sort of where the story is going, but I do not enjoy the beginning, basically. I was going to say the very gross <laughs> happenings, but yeah, I just, I'm not enjoying myself yet. It's very slow. It's a very slow beginning, so. If you're watching this vlog and you know that it gets better, then you must be laughing at me. And I'm sorry, I'm just, I seem so slow today because it was that kind of day. But yeah, this is the plan for tonight. I will upload the other video and I won't continue binging originals, but I will probably continue watching. So, wish me luck. Yeah, I'm loving how this was supposed to be an aesthetic shot. <laughs> I mean, that's what I planned it as, but it's so slow <laughs> that it is not an aesthetic shot. <laughs> it's anything but. Dear Lord. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Thank you, Word. <laughs> now, if you could be very... If you could be quicker, I would appreciate it. 